ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Minecraft Create Colonies. Well guys, as you can see over here, I have been very busy extending our little farmland. And also, I found a nice little feature of this mod. If you use a hoe to harvest your crops, it doesn't just harvest one, but it harvests all of them that are ready to be harvested which is really nice time saving but they have to be connected to each other as you just saw there so it's a really nice like time saving thing it does use a little bit of durability but wooden hoes are so easy to make it's not a problem also another little thing that i realized was that these guys for the colonies mod don't just accept gold tools but they accept wooden tools at the most basic level which is awesome. <laughs> it really saves me a lot of resources in trying to get things going for them. As you can see, we finished, uh, well, she finished up. Miss uh, Brooklyn over here. <laughs> she finished up the uh, builder's hut over here. So now we have our builder's hut. And if we read, sizes for planning. Most all 16 blocks deep, 16 deep by 8 wide. And you can have a quick look, guys, at all the different buildings we can make with this colony. So it is crazy the amount of colonies that or buildings that you can make. It says, Welcome builder, the fortress begins. The huts are based on 16 on chunks 16 and half chunks 8. Turn on grid to help place correctly. Notice the gates on level 1 town hall. Place inner walls against those. The barracks is 3 chunks long. It will help start the outer wall. When placing, it helps to set to level 5 to see what to expect. Level 1, TH, will be bigger... Sorry, will be... Will later be a cellar and D-man shortcut. You will need to break blocks in front of gates for them. If this building isn't where you need it, you can reposition it. Extra wall, gate, and corner segments under deco. Use the planning deco placed or ghosted to get an idea of how to lay out districts. Expect to occupy about 14 by 14 chunks, fully grown. Optionally, make a small fortress, then a small town outside. Questions? Skim discussion on Mine Colonies Discord. So yeah, guys, you can see here we've got our structures going. And she is busy building a tavern quickly because uh, she need our citizens need that in order that they can uh, get some sleep. Also, I found out that they also need some food because they do get hungry. So I'm going to come in here and drop a little bit of bread. I'm not too food rich at the moment. <laughs> so, we can't uh, feed all of our villagers a crazy amount at the moment, but we can give them some basic uh, bread just so that they have something to eat if they do get hungry. So, these four are with me right now, and we can just give them some bread to nom on, and we can also come and give our builders some bread. Miss Brooklyn over here. Now, before I go any further with the create mod, I need to find some sheep. And the reason for this is a lot of things need wool. <laughs> and at the moment, I have absolutely no sheep. I also have no idea where to find sheep. So this episode is probably going to be an exploration episode where we explore a bit of the world. Also, if we find some sheep, what I can do is I can make backpacks. And these backpacks will allow me to um, carry more stuff with me. They're like a shulker box, but better. And then I can increase the size of it by adding tiny, medium and large pockets to them. Um, which adds extra slots to the backpack. Also, there's other things that go along with it, like satchels and whatnot. But we, uh, satchels is from a different mod. But yeah, we'll get into backpacks. I definitely want to do that. But we need wool. <laughs> to make a basic backpack, you need either a sewing spool, 
sorry, you need a sewing spool, shears, and tanned leather, and some wool of your choice to make the different colors, and that will allow you to make a backpack. So, we need to find sheep. Also, you may notice some fancy goggles on my head. These are night vision goggles, which allow me to see in the dark. I did some mining down below, and I found them in a chest, along with a whole bunch of other cool stuff. Um... So yeah, we are doing very well. We don't have to worry if it gets dark, we'll be able to see perfectly well. So, I think the direction I want to head in is this way. So, back towards this way, past our farm and down here. Because this is probably going to be the easiest way to get sheep, or do I want to head this way? Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe it would be best to come down here so that we can explore new terrain that we haven't seen before. So yeah, hopefully we'll find some cool stuff and not just uh, sheep. Hopefully we'll find some other stuff as well along the way. But yeah, how have you guys been doing? Let me know down in the comments. I hope you've all been well. Thank you all so much for the comments that you have been leaving. The support that you guys have been showing me is great. I really appreciate it. I hope you continue to enjoy this series going forward. Today's episode is going to be more of a talky episode and not so much of a edited one because it's more exploration based. For long time viewers you'll remember my old exploring in Minecraft series and the quest for all biomes. Um, so yeah, <laughs> more, more along those lines. Ooh, I like how they got the mushrooms, bark mushroom. <laughs> sitting alongside the tree here. That's really cool. And got some birds flying around and some new types of flowers. I don't recognize azalea. Okay. Very pretty indeed. Let's keep going this way, shall we? Now, this one also, because I'm generating new terrain, this episode will be a bit more stuttery. So for those of you that don't like that, I'm very, very sorry. But I have to do it. And my computer's not strong enough to generate smoothly, so... Alright, let's carry on going this way. At the moment, we're still in this very, like, twilight, I think it was called, biome. So hopefully we can get into something a bit more vibrant, like what we see coming up here. What is this? This is very pretty. Yellow birch leaves. Okay, nice. Um... Okay, <laughs> so there is a giant one of these right here that has exposed a lot of ores and stuff on the surface. Can I mine through this is the question though. What is inside it? Um, that is going to take a long time to mine. So I don't think I can, or I don't think I am at the right uh, skill level for this at the moment. Also, I should have brought a bed with me. <laughs> because I'm going to be out here in dark. Fortunately, our night vision goggles do allow us to see in the dark. But the problem is that it's still dark, so mobs can still spawn. We do get to hear the beautiful owls in the distance though, so that's a plus. Oh, I found something new here. Blueberry bush, okay. Let's see if I, uh... Ah, so it's just like the sweet berries do. Yes, ow, ow, and they prick you. Just like the sweet berries do. I wonder what the benefit are to blueberries rather than sweet berries though. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I've always been terrible. Also, you guys may notice that I have new hearts. And that is actually part of the mod where if I eat something new and my character likes it, I gain bonus hearts. Let's see if it'll happen this time. No, it didn't. Okay. So, yeah, different types of food actually allow me to um, level up the amount of hearts that I have in total, which is pretty cool. I really like that mechanic. So now I've got a permanent upgrade to my health of four extra hearts. 
So I will be sampling lots of different foods just to try and get things going. I want to bring those home with me, so I mustn't snack on those. I've got bread for that. Alright, and unfortunately we've come to some water here. Which is not great, since we want, uh, we want sheep. So we can't be taking them across water. There is a shipwreck down there, though. Huh. Shall I go and explore it? There's also a drown coming for me. I'll wait for him to come to the surface here where I can attack him. Much easier. There we go. Now, let's go and have a look at this lovely shipwreck down here, shall we? Hmm, I wonder if there's any air down there. Alright, down we go. There is a loot chest. Uh, can I just... Can I just... Uh, no? Okay. Out. Out. Up. Up, 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 Okay. Whew. Breathing. Need some food. Now, I did see that there is another chest in there. Let's try come down. We want to uh, sort and then get a good bunch of iron nuggies and emeralds and stuff. And then make our way back up. There we go. Whew. All right. So we got quite good stuff there. We got emeralds, iron nuggets, iron ores, some carrots, a leather cap with aqua affinity, and another rubber duck. I'm not too sure what the rubber duck does. We've got suf suspicious stew as well. Let's try that out. And that gives me poison. That stew was very suspicious indeed. Ow. 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 Okay. So, now, where do we go? I want to stick along the ocean side, just to stay away from mobs for now. Although, we were running out of water leading up to this way. Well, there's also a zombie following me. And I'm sure a myriad of other mobs as well. There are beautiful aurora in the night sky, though. Okay, this looks like some new food here. What could this be? Beetroots. <laughs> I've got some of those at home already, but we do have some wild cabbage here. Oh, does that give me some? Yeah, what a unique flavor. We gained two hearts with the cabbage. Awesome. Eat your greens, kids. All right, now through this way. We are getting shot at by a skelly, but I'm not too concerned about that as long as we keep moving. There is a village. Nice. Okay, let's see what we can find in this village, shall we, guys? Or is this just like a little settlement? Not a village? This just seems to be three houses. Oh, oh there, there are more. Yep, yeah, I see them in the distance loading in now. Yes, this is indeed a whole village. Nice. Alright, so let's have a look in here, shall we? Mr. Villager is sleeping by the seashore. And in here, another sleeping villager with something, a pine sapling. Okay, new type of tree. And we have, what's this, organic compost. Alright. Um, so I'm going to collect some of this because I don't know if this can be used to help my crops. Farmer's delight. I'll have to look into that because that might be a very good way to help my crops grow better. And what's this? Rich soil. Okay. Plant food. Alright, so we got some rich soil, some organic compost. And then let's head into this house here. See what awaits us. What I like about modded is it makes the villages so much more interesting to explore. Because you never know what you're going to find. There's like so many new things for you to find. <laughs> like a little kitten going meow. But that's not new, that's normal. There's a well. <gasps> yeah! I've been looking for one of these. 
Alright guys, so this is a waystone. And we can collect it and take it with us. And what this will allow us to do is to set it at our home. And wherever we find other waystones, it will allow us to teleport between the two waystones or three or however many we have. So now we essentially have a nice, easy way to get home if we can find another waystone. We always need two, unfortunately. All right, let's carry on through this... Uh, foresty area here and there's some crops here they are wheat and carrots I'm not interested in either and there is a nice unoccupied house here that I'm going to avail myself of I think just to get some nice sleep in and turn it to day so hopefully the monsters will go away I say as I face monsters in the morning that I didn't even see at night. Ow. I'm so used to bedrock, I was shifting to put my shield out. Alright. Facing quite a few monsters down here. Alright. There we go. We managed to get some stuff together for ourselves. Very nice. Okay, now let's see what else we can find in this village. We've already done very well by finding ourselves a waystone. Um, hmm. And some rich soil, which is great. <laughs> Ton of cats. An iron golem. Hi, sir. I could have used your help a moment ago. Okay, what's in here? Nothing useful. Okay, we've been there already. Black puff. Another type of mushroom. A little flower bed over there. Carrots. We don't need you. Loom. That's nice. Sheep! Two sheep! You guys are just what I need. Okay. Perfect. Um. So, thank you for your sheep. Come with me, guys. Alright, let's go back home. So, if I remember correctly... Home is that away. <laughs> Alright guys, so we made it back and we managed to get our sheep back here too, which is awesome. <laughs> so we've got our sheep and we have also got a spider here to deal with. <laughs> so now we can come here. I also managed to find a pumpkin on the way back, which is really nice. Um, I want to turn these into shears. There we go. Let's also... That mushroom. Let's go plant the new seeds we found while we're here. That's gonna be good to get those seeds in place and where we need them. Alright, up we go. So, those are beetroots, and then we also got tomato seeds, which are nice. And we got berries. We've got blueberries and sweet berries. So let's make this our little blueberry our blueberry row over there. And then let's eat one of the sweet berries. We didn't get any effect from it. But yeah, we got our blueberries and sweet berries growing there. Um hmm. We got cabbage seeds as well. The cabbage did give us a boost when we ate it, which is great. And we can get some more land over there. And plant the rest of these seeds. There we go. Alright, so you guys remember last time we made the water wheel? And we managed to get a little adjustment on it here with the 
at the end, but that's uh, not doing anything at the moment. But we can, now that we have got some sheep and some shears, get some wool and carry on our journey. Both with getting a backpack and with getting a... Um, and with getting the create mod going into greater depth. Come here, sir. Thank you. Now, both of those wool blocks popped off. Out of reach. <laughs> Unfortunately. There we go. Alright, so I managed to get four dollops, I guess you would call them, of wool there. Four bundles of wool. So, with that, I can go see what I can make at my crafting bench. Let's have a look, see now. So I know for the backpacks we need to make a new thing called a sewing table, I believe. How we make that, I am not entirely sure. Let's have a look. So, crafting. We need a backpack. We need a sewing table to do that. We also need string to make the sewing thing here. Let's see. For a sewing table, we need one stick, one leather, and wood. Okay. Do we have any leather, or do I need to go and get some? Alright. Oh, I can search for things. Ah, that's useful. Um, I do not see any leather. No. Sorry, I need some leather cows. So, let us go and get ourselves some leather from our cows. Let's also breed them up before we execute them. Just so that we can get more if we need. Um, I guess I'm jumping too high. There we go. I want quite a bit of leather because we need to make sure that we have enough on us. Can I make... No, I don't have enough to make a moss carpet. <laughs> I was thinking just to put on top of here so that I don't have to keep doing that sort of thing to get out of here. No! The cows are already trying to make an escape. Not great. Alright, let's uh, head back this way. We've got quite a bit of beef too, which is good for our tummies. Considering how hungry we are. Put this beef to cook, and then we will get to making our sewing table. That is not a furnace, my friend. That is a furnace. Okay. So... We need our planks of wool... We need one stick, and we need one leather, and that gives us a sewing table. But I can't sew, <laughs> is our achievement there. Let's place it upstairs here. Alright, so at the sewing table we can combine things. But we need a crafting table to make the thread, so that's down here. Okay, so it was... String, string, and stick, yeah. Good. And then we need the backpack. We'll go with the white one, because we've got white wool. We need five tanned leather. So we need to... Oh my gosh, quite a process. We need to take sewing spools, shears, and leather. And that will give us bound leather. Okay, poor little spiders. <laughs> um, that, that, and that. We get one bound leather. We need a lot of string. Who would think of tying leather up? Okay. Um, string. We can make one more. But I don't think we have quite enough string. I'm going to have to go spider hunting to do anything more here. Um, that's two bound leather. 
And for a bag, we need five. And three wool. Okay, so it's gonna take quite a bit to, um, to get that going, unfortunately. So we are not able to make our backpack today. We just don't have the string for it. Yeah, so I'm gonna need to try and find some string, guys. Um, I guess, can you, can you put wool and, and make string? No? Okay. You can use string to make wool, but you can't use wool to make string. Um, yeah, so that's that for that. <laughs> Let's sort our inventory here, sort the container, insert all those, sort again, and then come here, insert and sort. Okay, our next step now, don't take this away from me, that can go in there instead. I want this andesite alloy and some of this andesite, also our iron. Let's take some planks because we are going to get into the create a bit now. And we want to make, where is it now? A mechanical press. Okay. So in order to make a mechanical press, we need a block of iron. It's very expensive uh, at this stage in the game for me. A cogwheel, andesite casing, and a block of iron. So we've got andesite alloy. Andesite casing, we need wood and, and, and andesite alloy. Okay. So is it, is it a log, I'm guessing, then? Where is... I keep typing by mistake, sorry guys. Um, here we go. Okay, so we get some andesite casings. Now to make andesite alloy was the andesite and the nuggies. So we've got that. What else do we need? We also need these cog wheels which are buttons in andesite alloy. Okay. So let's get some more andesite alloy. Let's get a whole bunch of buttons, because we need quite a few. All right, and then we can do that twice, I believe. And we get a whole bunch of cogwheels, okay. And then we are one iron short to make an iron block. Um, can we turn our nuggies into... I oh, know we got more iron here. Okay. Good. Alright, so we can make our iron block like that. So we should have everything to make our mechanical press. Very nice. So now that we... Oh, it's night time. <laughs> Let's uh, go to sleep. We don't want any mob. Actually, maybe we shouldn't have slept because then uh, we could get some spiders spawning, which we do need <laughs> in order to make our backpack. All right, let's head on down here. If I had known I would need string, I could have collected it from down below. There were spider webs. Um, yeah, let's get this mechanical press pressing. It's a pressing matter, you could say. Um, also, we want to, or I want to, I should say, I want to come here and quickly just stem the flow of this water a bit, because let's build ourselves a little structure here. No, I didn't mean to press that. What do I break it with? Okay, that worked. And then I also want to cause a break in the water here. Which is looking like it's going to be a bit of a mission. <laughs> I just want a, a nice clean area I can work from. Okay, that seems to be working. And let's do that. Yeah, okay, good. 
I know that's going to affect my crops a bit down here, but... Oh, it actually doesn't affect them too much. Nice. Okay, so now we can dig into the mountainside a bit. And, um... We can work with this. Okay, we can break all of this. Okay. Now, with the mechanical press, I believe we have to go one down. And then we can attach it to the side. Yeah, that seems to be turning. And then if we take an iron ingot and throw it down there. It slowly goes down. And press goes bonk. We get ourselves an iron sheet. Nice. Now, why do we want an iron sheet, you ask? Well, we want an iron sheet because we need it for other things, like my main thing that I'm working towards at the moment, which is a mechanical saw. So for a mechanical saw, we need three iron sheets, one iron and an underside casing, and that gives us a mechanical saw, which will allow us to chop down wood, which is really cool. <laughs> So you can see, we can take the wood through there. It'll automatically chop it into stripped oak, which is nice. <laughs> if we put it through again, it turns it into planks. We can also work in line with mechanical belts to get them filtering into different areas. So yeah, we can also use it to chop down trees, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, let's put a few of these down. Let's see if it can do more than one at once. No. Okay, so it can only do one at a time, but uh, it does go at a pretty reasonable speed. There we go. And we got ourselves four sheets, so we can make ourselves a saw. But guys, I think I will leave that for next time. Thank you guys very much for watching. As always, my name is Athais. Good night. God bless. Bye for now.